Welcome to the tutorial for the Spanish Alphabet app. This is good for version 1.52. Uh, I should say that this will be presented on a iPhone uh, simulator with a retina display, but it's equally applicable to the iPad since it's uh, functionally identical. As well, this is the full version. I will point out differences uh, in regards to the free version as we, we go along. Obviously, the free version is limited. So let's start with reference. And it couldn't be simpler. It's simply a matter of uh, clicking any, touching any of these uh, letters and hearing them spoken. Ñ. Ñ. O con acento agudo. And as you can see with uh, accented uh, characters, uh, we, we do get a, uh, a label. O con acento agudo. Now what you should keep in mind is uh, what is spoken is it's uh, similar to if you were spelling a word over the phone. U con acento agudo. U con diéresis. Che. C. And uh, that covers uh, reference. Again, it's uh, really quite simple. Um, I should point out something now. Um, yes, let's go to the settings. And we'll, in this case, we have two dialects to choose from. Okay. Uh, South American and international. So we'll go back to reference and click some of the same letters. Ñ. O con acento agudo. E con acento agudo. Che. So that change of uh, dialect will cover reference, practice, test, everything. And we'll come present those now. Uh, with uh, That's it for reference. Let's go to practice. Uh, there are two games currently. Listen and select and reorder. We'll go for this one. You can skip this because uh, I'm going to cover it. Now uh, I'll show you the first button because I I spoke over the the letter that was pronounced. So we'll hit the repeat button. Ooh. Ooh. And then we'll choose the right one. S. And you'll notice that it turned green to signal that uh, you got it correct. W. H. Z. Now what happens if we get it wrong? Uh, let's pretend we don't know what this is. Z. Z. And uh, the wrong letter goes, glows red. And uh, the correct letter is repeated. Z. Now if we... Z. If we... Uh, o. Get that one right, but the next one we just... Uh, we, we don't know what it is at all. Um, oh. Oh. It'll keep on repeating until either we get it right or there's another option to save your sanity. You can just hit the skip button here. Now I want you to uh, notice what happens up here when I hit the skip button. You see that the, the letter here uh, glowed red, uh, signaling that that's the one you skip. So maybe you have a, a better chance of getting it right the next time. So, uh, oh, yes, uh, you can also, if you're intimidated by having so many letters, you can narrow the set down. So you just wanted half the letters. And uh, you, these are simply um, muted, so they won't appear in the, the practice. J. D. E. You can even go so far as just uh, maybe you just want to concentrate on the uh, first few, the first row here. D. D. A. C. So you can tailor it uh, to your to your liking. We'll go to reorder. Um, I won't go through this whole thing because it can take quite a long time, but um, it's simply a matter of. Dragging and dropping the letters, put them in the, the correct uh, sequence. Uh, once it's done, it's all green, and uh, it'll tell you how long it you took to do it. Now, um, this is a more advanced practice than lesson select. Um, what to keep in mind is that uh, you should um, drag them in the order uh, that they that they should appear here. Uh, otherwise, um, 
it'll you'll see what happens it uh, randomly shuffles and every time that you come back in it's going to shuffle again okay so uh, you have to complete it at the time we'll go to test there's only one test for listen and select uh, as it says in this case um, sorry I spoke over that but the letters are spoken a hundred letters will be spoken and you simply have to pick the one that you think it is now what's different than practice is First of all, there's no feedback as to whether or not you got it correct or not. E. Okay. X. The only feedback you get is this slowly growing progress bar at the bottom. I won't go through the whole thing, but uh, at the end you will be uh, presented with your score out of 100, i.e. Uh, the, the percentage correct. And it warns you here that we haven't finished it. It's okay. We can say no to stay or yes to, to cancel and leave. Uh, settings, we've seen them before, but I didn't show you the capital letters. Pretty predictable. Applicable to reference. A con acento agudo. And uh, practice, and in fact, the, the, the test as well. H. Okay. And uh, finally, we'll just go to the info view. This is the same tutorial you're watching right now. Uh, the, the support site. Um, this is a, a button, I hope you press it one time, uh, to rate or review this app, hopefully favorably. And uh, finally, we have um, a couple related apps, Spanish numbers. <coughs> this is both the paid version and the free version. I'd probably recommend starting with Alphabet and going to numbers, but both obviously represent a, a good foundation in in Spanish. And incidentally, I have other alphabet numbers uh, apps for, for other languages in case you want to get a good base in, in those as well. And that concludes the video tutorial for Spanish alphabet. I hope you enjoy it and get some benefit, and uh, perhaps I'll even hear from you. Thank you.